Hello and welcome to another episode of Science Law Motion. Woo. Today we will be covering the topic of Newton's second law of motion and gravity. Newton's second law of motion is force equals mass times acceleration, or F equals ma. We will demonstrate this with a glass jar. We took the glass jar's mass, which was 24 ounces, or 1.5 pounds, and if we multiply that by 9.8 meters per second squared, which is the rate at which gravity accelerates falling objects, is it equals 14.7 meters per second squared, which is the force the glass jar is falling at. This can be applied to real life. We can. This can be applied to real life. We can use this to figure out how much force a car is moving at. If a car's average weight is 4,079 pounds and it's moving at 80 miles per hour, we can calculate the force it's moving using force equals mass times acceleration. 4,079 mass times 80 acceleration equals 326,320 final force. So the car is using 326,320,000 ,320 newtons of force. Gravity is a force that attracts an object towards the center of the Earth, or toward any physical body having mass. We will demonstrate this with a ball and a rock. They are falling, since they are falling at the same rate, 9.8 meters per second, they will hit the ground at the same time. Gravity is also how we have the moon. The gravities of the Earth and the moon latch onto each other and keep each other from floating off into space. As the moon exerts gravitational force on the Earth, and the, the Earth in turn exerts gravitational force. This is Science in Slow Motion, signing off.